a few of you have seen my Yorkshire puddings but this one's going to be giant Yorkshire puddings I've not done giant Yorkshire puddings I've not done a video on it it's the same mixture and if you've not seen the previous video on the Yorkshire puddings I'll just go through with it and these will be the best Yorkshires you'll ever have light and crispy holds lots of gravy and it's all about the mixture though getting the mixture right and basically this took me about 20 years and I shared it a couple of years ago and it went stupid but now I'm going to do a, a giant one in 18 trays only two in 18 trays so I'm just going to turn you down here and show you like all Yorkshire puddings it's uh, eggs, flour, milk and a bit of water but it's getting the mixture right just a mug of coffee but it's, it's got to be precise everything's got to be the same okay so it's one cup of everything and I'll pause it so it goes quicker okay cup of flour in a jug next cup of eggs okay that's a cup of eggs Drop that, I'm still using. Like Dolly was eating it, me and my missus. Okay, now a cup of milk, three quarters of the way up. You see that? Three quarters, we're way up, and the rest with cold water. Salt. Pepper. And I like a bit of sage. Don't have to do it. You put your favourite herb in. I'd say a teaspoon and a half. If you if you got if you haven't got one of these, that's fine. Just use a fork. See proper. seconds that's your mixture for your Yorkshires okay so get cracking get some Yorkshires bed 8 inch tins lard and then put your oven on high and show you out the cooking process okay oven on 250 lard What I like to do, break a piece of paper off, get your lad, run it in 
into the corners, spread it out, leave a lump. You may say, oh, that's a lot of lard. Okay. It is. This is how you get it uh, crispier, especially on the bottoms. And it's going to shove these up. Do not, I will repeat this, do not put these on your top shelf or even the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, your middle shelf. If you've got a convex uh, convection oven, yeah, you want it on the shelf below uh, the middle. These will rise to the top. Okay, let's put these in uh, a, a 250 oven. So just while the trays are getting up, what we're going to do is uh, you put these on for 15 minutes on a high, let them rise up. And we're going to slightly adjust the heat, just slightly turning it down every 5-10 minutes. And these are going to go for an hour, so you don't want them burnt, but you also don't want them soggy. Yeah, so uh, these are pretty good Yorkshires, the giant Yorkshires. So bear with me, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, been in 10 minutes. After we spit in, only fill it halfway. You can fill it to the top, in fact, I'm just a little bit over halfway. stages and show you later okay we've been in for 15 minutes now and I've taken the temperature down to 220 okay now we're going to take it down to 200 and then just let it crisp out I'm not showing you what they look like yet Okay, been going for 40 minutes now and now I've turned them down to 200. Okay, so now I keep them in 10 15 more minutes just to crisp through on the bottom. Okay, see you all later. Okay, turn it down to 150 now and now I'm just keeping it warm while dinner's ready. So Another five ten minutes, okay. It'll be ready to uh, um, serve up. So uh, just bear with me. When I get everything done, when Claire comes in from work, I'll be serving up and show you the finished article. Okay. It's been fifty five minutes. I'm going to take it to take them out. See what they're like. So, this is the smaller one out of the two, and they should bring up. Get this them in there so that's the bigger one more more mixture in this one and uh, yeah so that's the giant Yorkies bent on edge there 
Instead, it should just come out if you. There you go. On the bottom. On the side. Quite near enough. That's off that one. So yeah, I'm going to put them back because we're not saving up yet. But I'll take pictures of it, and that's uh, that's how you make your giant Yorkies. <laughs> okay, thank you uh, very much. What's that? 11 minutes. Let me know how you get on with the giant Yorkshire puddings. Cheers. Okay, to finish off, I'm just plating up. Oh, nice. It's onion gravy. All the way around. So, you ain't Yorkshire pudding. Sausage casserole, garlic mash, sprouts, and run a bit of French beans. Hope well, you enjoyed it. Cheers. Okay, the uh, the test for a Yorkie, yeah, is to you he, he, he wants to be crispy. So yeah, all the way down. And even though it's got the gravy inside, right, and a bit of gravy outside, listen. And that's what you're looking for. Okay, so enjoy, because I'm going to enjoy this.